Now I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but Hoyaverse has not yet created one character for every element and weapon combo. Now just putting Dendro aside for a second because it is still new, we don't yet have a Cryo Catalyst or a Hydro Claymore user. But don't you worry because today I'm going to change that. I know if I don't say it directly people are going to ask, so this is the Raiden Shogun account aka my main account, and today we're going to be playing around with Eula. You see Candace came out in the last update and I pulled until we had C6 for her. Granted, I did pull because of the Minecraft speedrun video I did where it made me do 176 pulls, so, you know, we still had to do the pulls, but I still did get C6 Candace, which is what I wanted. And I'm sure most of you are aware, but for those of you who aren't, if you use Candace's burst, then any character with a sword, claymore, or pole arm will be infused with Hydro. I think you know what that means. We're gonna be bringing Eula out. A character that I got on November 26th of 2021 and still haven't properly built. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm not gonna worry too much about maxing talents and all that because to be honest, I'm trying to build so many different characters right now, but I'll go ahead and level up her normal attack to level 8. That way, it's at least invested. Artifacts are a little copium, but I did farm about 3-4 to four weeks only in the Heart of Depth domain and it didn't go well. We got a flower with some crit, a feather on the hydro damage bonus with those stats. Somehow she ended up on an ocean hued clam set, so she has a 15% healing bonus. That'll really come in handy. We got attack percent, more crit elemental mastery, hydro damage bonus, my only hydro damage bonus piece with crit damage and HP. She doesn't need HP, but she has HP. And then crit rate on heart of depth with more crit damage. I desperately need new crit pieces for this account. My circlets are so lacking. In terms of weapons, I have the luxurious sea lord because if we're going to be making Eula a hydro character, this weapon just makes the most sense. Now I could go ahead and slap on the pain slasher, EM, and if an opponent is affected by hydro, you do more damage. That could work. So I'm not going to do that because the fish fits this build better. Part of me really wants to build Beto on a hydro build because while well, she is a pirate, it just makes sense. However, in order to do the biggest damage possible, possible, we're probably going to be doing some vaporizes, and she doesn't perform as well with that. The Electra would just mess it up, we'd get overloaded, and it wouldn't work as nicely, plus she's not as invested. Though maybe I'll slap all this stuff on her at the end and just test it out for fun. So overall, we have 2,268 attack. Ignore the fact that I could ascend her one more time, I don't have the resources to do that right now. We have a 62 to 137 crit ratio and a 61% hydro damage bonus. Now Candace is obviously what makes this team possible. However, I'm currently missing this ascension passive. Once we get this, then when we use our burst and have a character infused with hydro damage, for every 1000 HP that she has total, they gain an extra 0.5% damage. So even though she's not that well built, I'll still try to get her more HP. Right now, we'd get an additional 10% bonus of damage just for existing. So that's the plan. We gotta get Candace built up a little bit better, and then we're gonna run Jean Ling, and I'm gonna do something that I do not like to do. I'm gonna use Bennett. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this character. I find him quite boring. But what I did was throw every single Noblesse piece on this account on him. This is all that I had. And I even rolled the strong box to get one more. So he's got the Noblesse buffs and we're gonna give him the Aquila Favonia. This will give him the highest base attack total, which will allow us to buff more and therefore do more... I should probably level this up, but I'm not going to. And then, <laughs> okay, ignore my Xian Ling. I don't play to the meta, as you can probably tell. I just use whatever characters I like. Not to say I don't like Xian Ling, but she's not one of the ones that I've built. She's somehow not even C4. But that's besides the point. She's here for the Pyro Resonance and the Guobo 10% damage buff after he disappears thanks to this passive here. And then, of course, just Pyro Application. I think this is a flawless strategy. What could possibly go wrong? So what does Candice need to do? We need red crests, which I am going to struggle to find, I'm sure. And then we need to kill this thing. Oh, the boss. Okay. This could be a little bit of an issue because, um, well, I'm not using my actual team. All right, you know what? Let me just quickly swap the party. It's okay. This is all that I need. I only need these two and I have not touched their artifacts, so we're fine. This boss really isn't too difficult, so we should be good. This is why these two are some of my favorite characters. Raiden, of course, being my favorite, and I think Kokomi has to be a close second. It's just so easy. Give me good drops. Give me good drops. Two. 
bad drops. Who's ready to go scour the desert for some red crests? I know I am. Luckily, I do have a traveling team, so this will speed it up a little bit. Though I gotta be honest, I don't know where any of these things are. Never mind, I know exactly where one of them is. But now that I got- oh wait, no, I know where another one is. Now that I got those, I got nothing. Oh wait, the interactive map exists. that took a little longer than I was expecting. You see, I didn't actually have that many of them, and I forgot that you need 20 here and then 45 for the next level. So I went out and I got as many as I could. So we're at 67 now, we're fine. We just need to farm this, and I think we should be good with everything else. Maybe these will pose a problem, but hopefully not. And there it goes again. Come on, better drops this time. Better drops this time. Still only two, and still not a good artifact. I mean, defense, I don't have... A character you know dps noel there you go but here we go we can ascend her for the second third third time right one two yeah three i can count don't know why i struggled with that there we go ascended once now to ascend her again i am going to have a little issue with these i could craft them i hate crafting them but i guess i will and then it's just a matter of fighting this boss a lot more i guess i'll just farm it and then i'll see you guys again when it's all done the deed has been done. After slapping around the mechanical triangle a couple times and crafting up some of these, we have enough to ascend her again. This of course gives us the ascension passive, which is what we've been after. And now, I just need to get that HP stat up. Though if I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it's already as high as I'm gonna be able to get it, unless I go ahead and level up this weapon. I really don't want to invest in this, but I don't see another option right now. I'll just do one more. We'll just do one more. Just a little bit more HP for her. And now she's sitting at a comfy 27,000. I really wish that was higher. Oh wait, wait, I can level her, right? This should maybe raise the HP. 27,200 is now, tw yeah, 29,000. Okay, that's better. Still not the best, but it's better than it was. <laughs> I would like it to be around, I don't know, 40k but i guess 29k will have to do for now so if we want to go test out some damage we need our bursts which means i'm gonna have to do a bit of collecting energy here oh, no 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 no. okay let's go somewhere with some hillichurls all right we have all of our bursts up i think the easiest spot to test this would just be on cryo regis fine now i know this isn't the boss that gives you the highest damage possible you obviously have things like raiden shogun in her downed phase and the perpetual mechanical machina array boss thing but i'm gonna be honest with you i don't think this team can do that so we are just gonna fight this because it's extremely simple we do that and then how do we do this we go maybe this and then i should not have done it like that but it's fine and then eula and we just yeah there was a nice 24k some nice 12ks 8k 10k, not too bad. And we're back once again. All right, there's the little, I was gonna say gummy bear. I don't know why I was gonna say gummy bear. But then we get this, we pick this up, and then we just start spamming our attacks, preferably inside of Bennett's burst. Look at that. Look at that, we were hitting 24Ks? Oh, that's beautiful. That's the stuff that you love to see. See, I got you, Hoyoverse. I added in the Hydro Claymore for you. Now, I would love to get a Thrilling Tales boost on here, but obviously we need Eula and Candice. We can't get rid of either of them. Jeanling lets us apply the Vaporize, which is really clutch. And Ben is here for the damage boost, plus Pyro Resonance. Now, I could swap Jeanling out for Yanfei and have Thrilling Tales, but then we can't really apply Pyro as easily. Or I could swap out for something like Sucrose so that we could have the viridescent shredding but then once again we can't really apply pyro and we lose the pyro resonance that's why i feel like this is the best team that we can run right now but then again i'm not one of the channels that specializes in the ultimate peak performance of every team and knows the ins and outs of everything i'm gonna be honest with you guys i just like big damage but i also just like using whatever is fun so those don't always line up nicely. Just like I said, I really don't care for Bennett's playstyle, but I am aware that he will give me the best damage possible right now. And of course, as promised, we need to try this out with Beto as well. Now my Beto is a lot less invested than my Eula, and my Eula's already not that invested. So I wouldn't expect this to do all that much if I were you. All right, here we go. It's uh, 10K, so it's about half the damage it seems. 
Oh, there's a 12k in there. It's not that bad, but it's also not the best. Though that is kind of to be expected. The nice thing about Eula is when you ascend her, she does ascend into extra crit damage. So that just helps her do even more damage than Beto can right now. You know, in all honesty, this sword isn't even that great for what I'm trying to do. The attack percent is great, but since I'm not using the burst whatsoever, the whole passive is kind of just negated. I feel like the Serpent Spine or, like I said earlier, the Pain Slasher would just be better. Here's what we're gonna try. I don't like this piece at all, but I put an EM sand on her. I only have three on the account and believe it or not, this is the best one. The giant fish sword already gives her all the attacks she's gonna need. So having an attack sands seems kind of redundant. I think EM might help more since we're going for vaporize. So let's get her burst back and see if we can hit higher than that 20 something thousand that we were seeing as our highest damage. It'd be nice if I did have a better EM piece, but it really can't be helped right now because we know artifact rates. I could go farm for another week and still not get anything to replace that. All right, here we go. Boom. One of these. One of these. And then three. Okay. 15k, 11k, 7, 25,000. Now, just so you have an idea of what all this damage looks like without the vaporizes and the boosts and all that fun stuff, if we just use the burst and then swap to... Wow, thanks for that, guys. It's not that impressive. Highest we're hitting is around 4,600 it looks like. I was gonna try to go into co-op and use it and just see what people say, but without the pyro vaporizes, it's not that impressive. Well, now that we bullied the frozen flower enough, I think it's time to go fight its spicy cousin. So the real struggle here is going to be destroying this somehow. Kinda just gotta run away and wait. Okay, here we go. We'll put this down now just to get it started. We'll break that. We'll do one of these, one of these, one of this run over here grab this and then start smacking it up it's still pretty good damage i'm not gonna lie not all of these are vaporizing unfortunately so that kind of sucks the first hit was definitely the most damage out of all of those this should get it broken again beautiful and now we're just gonna go boom one of these one of these grab this and then smack it and a nice 24k. So I feel like when we're going to do that vaporize, we can't just spam normal attacks. We have to wait and make sure that the pyro is applied again. So let's just go through the whole list of different things I need to throw out. And then use the burst. And smack it. Smack it. Smack it. 24k. Not bad. Need the pyro on it again. There we go. Boom. Another 15k. That's kind of underwhelming. Huh. That didn't go so well, did it? Doesn't this boss know to stand still when I'm trying to test damage? I don't get why it's trying to dodge my attacks. No, come back here. Eh. Eh. No, hit it. Eh. There. There's a 24 and an 8k. That's not the worst. I'm really on some copium right now, aren't I? It's because I want this to work. It's such a dumb idea. And I'm sure other people's more developed accounts with lots of artifacts could do it way better than I can. But this is good because if you guys want to copy this build, which I really don't recommend, but if you do, you're almost guaranteed to be able to do the same, if not more damage than I can do with it. It's perfect. All right, here we go again. Can we see? Oh, Gulb is not back yet. That's unfortunate. Get the pyro swirling on. Not swirling. It's not swirl at all. Don't, I can't mix that up. That's an actual thing in the game. Don't say that. Yeah, it's really... It's, it's not as good here. I'm not getting enough pyro application for this to be worthwhile. So where does all of this put us? Was this some amazing idea that everyone should run out and copy right now? No. No, it's, it's really not. I simply wanted to create my own Hydro Claymore user since Hoyoverse won't do it for us. And I think what this video shows even more is that we need them to do it because when I try and do it, it sucks. To wrap this up, let's do something else I never do. We're already using Bennett, which is very rare for me, but let's go ahead. I just crafted this up for the first time ever. Gives us an extra 25% Hydro damage bonus. Let's take that. And then let's increase our crit rate just for consistency's sake. And I'll just go ahead and chug one of our wolf hook juices. So now Eula has 2,025 attack, still a very underwhelming amount of crit rate, and an 86.6% hydro damage bonus. Now we just have to take this thing out pretty quickly. Actually, I think it's about five or six minutes, so we should be fine. I want to see big damage here, everyone. Let's not mess this up, even though that'll kind of be on me, but I'm going to blame the characters. All right, boom, 28k, not bad, not bad. Let's get the pyro back, boom, no, oh, another 28k, how about that one? 10k, 28k, there we go. So in four hits, Eula was able to take down the boss. And 
if you build her physically, she can kind of technically take it down in one hit. Did I just make Eula worse with this build? Hold up, we got a bounty thing over here. It's immune to pyro, which kind of sucks, but it takes extra damage from hydro. I better see the biggest of damage. So you're immune to this. That's actually good. I really don't want the abyss mage here, not gonna lie. And then, boom, 37k. That's not bad. What about that one? Okay, we, didn't, we don't have pyro. Get the pyro. Get the pyro. You missed the pyro, and we ran out. Okay, good showcase. Very good showcase. So unlike my physical Kazuha that I still use every day on this account, I really like this build. And if you want to check out the video where we made him a physical Kazuha, I'll leave a link in the description to that. But I don't think I'm going to be keeping Hydro Eula around. I gotta say, this wasn't nearly as effective as I was hoping it would be, but it's something I wanted to test out for a while. If you guys would like to see more stoop, I mean amazing, builds like this in the future let me know down in the comments because i do find stuff like this fun it's just that this account needs so much more investment to do these i don't even have proper teams for the abyss and yet here i am trying to build a hydro eula what is wrong with me with that being said though i hope you guys did enjoy feel free to check that you're subscribed if you'd like to be subscribed because sometimes you realize you're actually not i thought this would just be kind of a fun video to do and i do like gandis's design i want to build her correctly in the future this was just a little fun gimmick i wanted to test out and with that being said, I will see you guys next time.